Hello there! Another enthusiast, I presume. How good it is to see a fresh face here at the inventory. I imagine you're here for the card game with the fellows downstairs. Let me lead you down there. A first timer, hmm? I'm a bit more familiar with the, uh, benefactions of the club. The club was founded in 1919 in response to an early draft of the 18th Amendment. Through back channels, it was learned that this vile piece of legislation would not only outlaw libations, but games and amusements that could also threaten the world-renowned determination and productivity of the American workforce. Wait, that's illegal. Ah, can you imagine? Games outlawed! Nevertheless, this club has been here in secret ever since, just in case those in charge get another bee in their bonnet. Mm. So welcome, and enjoy yourself. Ah, your table. Ahem, gentlemen. I hope there is room at the table for a fifth. Ha! <laughs> fresh meat! Very well. In concordance with the house rules of the inventory set forth by Mr. Kent upon the club's founding, any congregation of five players around a no-limit hold'em table must play for the house stakes of seventy-five dollars. This is not too much. Of course, these stakes were set in 1910, and with inflation, let's see, uh, tonight's buy-in will then be ten thousand dollars. Here you go! Jump change, I say! Jump change! I am sorry. I do not have this money. I did, but Sasha has been very good lately, and I wanted to get her gifts. The money is gone. I have no choice. Ah, oh, you gotta play! I have no choice but to buy in with Sasha, so I can keep honor. It's... it's... beautiful. I hope this is all right. <laughs> I see no problem with it. Whoever knocks him out will receive his buy-in. Yeah, I'm out. Call. Uh, all right. 
I'd raise. I don't think so. <laughs> Crap. I can call your bet and buy sandwich. Okay. Uh, you can have the point. The player wins the hand. This sucks! In. So, Max, you're like one of those Pokemons, right? My genus and phylum is a mystery to all mankind. Cause I'd love to see some free pubescent pointy haired kid run in here and stick you inside of a baseball. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Are you talking about the red cap kidnapper who terrorized the fauna of the Upper West Side for months? Maybe. Because Sam Flint and I caught him trying to shove a chimpanzee into his knapsack and made him cry for his mommy. I'm gonna check. I am dead. I'm out. It won't kill you to call. <laughs> All right, I raise. Hmm. Ah, I am all in. So much money. <laughs> that card ruined my day like a bad rash between my ears. The heavy wins the hand. <laughs> you didn't have to just give me the money. I am going to play this one. Foltsville. Say, Bonnyman, how badly did those telltales hose you in your licensing agreement? Yeah, Sam and I just focus on fighting crime. People have been making money from our exploits for decades. No, I mean those incompetent dorks who captured maybe an ounce of our actual charm and charisma in their terrible video games. Point on this, click on that. How about use my fist with your face, Telltales? Maybe you had me confused for someone else? Yeah, I disfigure oh. bad guys and fight crimes in New York City. That's my thing. No. The player wins the hand. Where was I? Oh yeah, maybe you had me confused for someone else? Yeah, I disfigure bad guys and fight crimes in New York City. That's my thing. We're being exploited! Oh, exploitation! Santa Claus subjugated an entire race of elves in Sam and Max Season 2 and 3! Ah, oh, you know, these cards actually smell like detritus. Mm. I'm calling. He's free. is not much. The heavy has been eliminated from play. Goodbye, my love. Check two. <laughs> Quick question, what do those numbers on the cards mean? The player wins the tournament! Whoa! Whoa! What happened? 
I astral projected into the mind of a stampeding wildebeest for 45 minutes or so. What did I miss? 